Harold Haas is an anthroposophical psychiatrist in Bern and a sought-after specialist in his field. You lecture in a number of trainings and I think there is a lot you can tell us about the topic of compulsion, also thanks to your experience in your practice. There is a very important phenomena in the psychotherapeutic practice in connection with which decisions the counselor or therapist should be involved in. This depends on the clarification of the question who should determine what individuals really do or what strengthens the individual in his doing. My experience is that people who are unsure in the matter of taking decisions often do not consult just one counselor or therapist, but several. The danger is obviously that they do not get only one opinion, but rather much differing advice. This actually does not support the person very much. Übermittelt werden. Und dies äh, unterstützt eigentlich den Menschen nicht sehr. Weil When deciding something which he or she has heard in counseling or therapy, it does not come from inside, but instead is an adoption of the counselor's impulse. The downside of this is that it does not strengthen one's own self, but rather ensues in a weakness resulting from having followed the instructions of another person. Und so sehe ich das als Möglichkeit. I see it as an opportunity for counseling to support the individual by pondering the possibilities, not in terms of what is sympathetic or antipathetic and supporting the emotional, but instead in terms of what can be said in favor for or against a particular issue. When one takes too much consideration of feelings, the emotions in a decision, then one only considers one's own side, which is attractive, over the other side, which is repulsive. Often the decisions are so complex with so many domains to be taken into consideration that it is important to get an overview so as to reach a decision from this general view. Two further aspects associated with this are important to consider. Firstly, there is always the concern that there is only one right decision. When one reaches a general view, then one notices that this is never the case. Each decision has advantages and disadvantages and is only relative that which is right or wrong. Secondly, an important and well-known advice is don't take a decision when you don't have the strength to implement it. If one has taken a decision against something and then one does nothing, the effect is that abstaining weakens. 
The goal is to accompany individuals in such a way that they reach their own decisions and that this strengthens them and gives them the impulse to actually implement. In psychology nowadays, this is named ability to commitment. Thus, a committed act for one's own real goals, and as a result, a striving towards one's own becoming. Rudolf Steiner has given a eurythmy exercise to support this process called Yes and No. This exercise encompasses the whole human in such a way that we can physically feel what it means to really say yes or really say no with our decision. So you've heard that we cannot come to a decision in our mind alone. I say yes on one hand, no on the other, but ultimately I have to decide from my heart so that I can lead it into action and not leave it staying there. How can we exercise this? What can support us here? This is what our present exercise program is about.